Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy JD Motor Marauder back out again with another video. Hopefully, you guys having a great time out and about on a beautiful weekend. It's still early. As, it's still early in the morning. Super early in the morning right now. Really early in the morning. Train tracks. Come on, Mercedes, go. Hell yeah. We're currently in the downtown portion of the city. Thought I'd change up the route a little bit. So that's what we're doing today. Changing up the route, just going on a little cruise. You know, just having a grand old time. Yeah, we're just out and about on a little rip. We woke up early, wanted to go get some coffee before doing many other things. Nicely paved road feels good, man. <laughs> Nicely paved road does feel good. I just realized I took the wrong turn. I'm not going down the road I wanted to go on. Snap. Oh well. Uh, it's too early in the morning to be down in the dumps. Lacking sleep for the past couple of days. Uh, due to various reasons <laughs> But yeah, lacking a bit of sleep gonna get some caffeine in us We're fiending for some caffeine, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, <laughs> I'm gonna be boring you guys I'm a freaking monotone biker dad jokes or whatever. I'm not even a father. I ain't that father of the You are not the father man Anyways, um, apologies for all that shenanigan crap Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Just out and about. Don't really have much of an agenda for this video. Just ride and, and vibe and that's just like how we do it on this channel. Um, yeah, let's turn this into a goals video. You know those like the goal check that I was doing a couple months ago? Let's do one. This is number five or number six. I don't know, but we'll do it anyways. Alright, goal wise. Still coding, still applying. I had a couple of interviews, most of them were bust. A couple of them I went to the third and final stage and they ended up hiring people who had actual work experience in the field. That's just how the job market is right now. So all I can do is keep continue applying and work on my skills. I'm almost done these C Sharp Foundations certificate from Microsoft. So that's I'm going to be writing the exam for that soon and that should be on my resume and my LinkedIn profile. The CompTIA, I've been slacking on that. That's something I'm working on soon. That's something I'm going to be working on more focused on that after I do this C Sharp Foundations course. Because with the C Sharp, that, could sh that sort of proves I know how to code in C Sharp besides pr projects. So. That'll help, that'll help me out. With that side of things, the CompTIA will be just great overall. It'll help me overall with uh, job applications, getting interviews. In the meantime, I've applied to a couple of internal accounting roles at my workplace. Got an interview for a couple of them, and since it was month end, they were quite busy. So, I passed the first stage. I think these interviews only have like two stages, so the initial phone screen, then the actual interview because we're internal, it's not like two or three, it's not like three or four interviews, uh, back and forth, back, back and forth, it's in the same office where I'm in, so that's not too bad. All that stuff is not too bad. Probably hear back from them for the next and the final interview stage. Uh, probably next week. Is what I'm guessing. Next week or the week after. They get busy in the beginning in the beginning of the month. So that should be good. I should be getting that role. I just really didn't want to go through another accounting role because just my ego. Uh, 
Let's see what's in my ego. Uh, just because I didn't really want to go through another accounting role because I finished up with IT, right? I'd rather just get a job in the field that I'm specialized in more. I have more experience in the accounting field, so it feels easier to land a role or some interviews in the accounting uh, finance field. So in the meantime, I still got to make money. I still got to pay my bills. So that might be the move I got to do is just stick with the accounting roles for now. So I'm going to do that while I work and just continue doing interviews and stuff for the IT field. One day I'll land one. Just sucks that I didn't really, at the time, prioritize doing internships or co-ops because I was more focused on I need daily, I need a job that works with my hours and helps with school, school and gets along with my schedule for family and all that. So it is what it is. I can't really complain about what's already happened. That's, this is all in hindsight, so <laughs> it is what it is. Just gotta work on my projects, work on my certificates, work on my freaking resume, my interviewing skills, my cold calling skills. Because a lot of the interviews I've had, not gonna lie, I've just cold called recruiters for companies that have a position open, and it's been working so far. <laughs> I've, been getting, I've been getting interviews, I've been getting to the very last stage of that, the final decision factor, they just end up picking the person who has experience which from a business standpoint I get I get it you would rather want a person who can like quickly uh, get up to speed with everything than invest time and money into a, a new person but it, it sucks and I'm not gonna continually spout the same shit over and over again Zoom road. Oh, this feels good, man. After not being able to ride for a week and a half, two weeks now, it feels good to be back on the road. Just going on a little cruise. But yeah, that's for work-wise and career-wise. I haven't lost sight. I haven't lost sight still motivated as ever to land an IT role especially a developer role but the I don't know people have started to make like IG reels like content like short form and long form content like the IT industry is like way too oversaturated there's too many people and not enough jobs that with all the layoffs and everything too many people got into the field but jobs are still hiring so I don't know what it's all about. All I can do if I want to stay, if I want to get into the industry, just work on my skills and keep applying. One person, one company will eventually give me a chance and everything will be Gucci from there. It only takes, it, it only takes that one person to say yes and your life changes forever. That, whether that be in your love life, or your career, your professional life or whatever, it just takes one single yes through the thousand the tens of hundreds of thousands of no's this takes one single yes yeah so as that we hit 1k i'm trying to figure out how to get the watch hours up below on watch hours so i'm trying to get motorbikes in i'm going to be doing more long form content so if you guys like that stick around <laughs> If you guys like that, then do please just stick around and watch my videos till the end. It'll help out the algorithm, help more people. It'll help push my content to more people who are already subscribed and use and new people who aren't subscribed yet. And just be an and just be amazing. We'll get more hours in, and it'll help us get monetized so we can do more on the channel. Right now, I'm kind of really stuck between, on just uh, riding around like this. But uh, once we're able to get monetized and open up a new form. Uh, a new way of getting income so we help all that all the all all of the income from the channel is going to be put back into the channel be that through vehicles tools parts camera gear learning t 
taking time out to learn video editing. I really, I really want to learn a DaVinci The Resolve. I know it's a behemoth of a software, but it's better than uh, Hot Cut and Cap Cut, which are the ones I'm using right now. And yeah, that's all the stuff on my end, guys. How about you? Let me know. Leave it in the comments. How are you on your goals this year? We're five months in. We're, we're in May now. It's almost halfway through the year. You guys better have knocked off a couple of goals. You guys better have completed a couple of goals off your list. You should have. Half the year is gone. I've been able to knock off a couple of mine, career and the financially wise. There's still a ton that I need to go through, but I know. I feel like now that summer is here, we hit 1K. Uh, I'll probably be. I'll probably be able to do all the other ones too. It's gonna take a bit more time. Thing is, with me, I've noticed things for me take much longer than with other people. Like getting, like finding a job after graduating. It took me like eight months to land my first like this accounting role that I have right now after graduating with my diploma in business admin and now it's taking me a year and a half to land an IT role mainly because no experience and no one wants to hire a person who has no experience in the field like actual hands-on work experience yeah I did lab stuff in the school but that doesn't really equate much I would say to a recruiter they'd rather have actual work experience with an actual reputable the company I guess Hopefully things are alright with you guys, hopefully your goals are getting completed. Drop a comment down below if you guys are completing your goals. If you're not, get to it man, you have half a year. Get to it bit by bit, even if it's slow, even if it takes you days to like, like, just start the process. At least start. Any movement is better than no movement. Any progress, even if it's like 0.001%, like closer to your goal. If it's just inching towards it, just keep on doing it, guys. Things don't come easy in this life, especially now in this economy. Like, God damn. So, get to it, guys. If you haven't already, in any of the other goal check-in videos I have, comment down on here if you haven't already, just what goals you have you want to complete by the end of the year, and then mark it, bookmark it, save it, save the video, so at the end of the year, just come back and comment that you, that, and just save the video, watch the video, comment your goals and save the video, and then come back to it by the end of the year and, or whenever you've completed your goals to let us all know that you have completed your goals, all right? That's going to end it for this one. I need to go get coffee. My brain ain't, the, my brain ain't functioning like it should be, guys. Uh, I'm going through different accents, the different mood swings right now. This is not good. I am tired today. And my bike's overheating for some reason. And the fan keeps on going. It is a hotter day. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's a hotter day. Hot, it's hotter than usual. So, yeah. Catch you guys in a bit. See you guys in the next video. Adios. Ciao. Stay blessed. Keep on grinding. Keep on hustling, guys. We got six. We got seven more months still. Just the start of May. We guys, we got this. Hustle and grind and get your bag, guys. Whatever the bag may be, if it's actual money or if it's just like something else, achieve your goals this year. So you have, so you can achieve bigger goals next year, and so forth and so forth. All right. Alright, it's your boy Jay, the Motor Marauder, signing out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.